Uh, hey, what's up folks at home? You guys ever want to catch who's stealing all your milk and cookies in the act? We're gonna teach you how to make a motion activated camera. He must get so fat. I can't eat that many cookies. Santa cam. All right, folks, so what you're gonna need for this project is an Arduino, a PIR sensor, a diode, a DSLR camera with a remote shutter control, and a cable to control that shutter control. All right, so what we're gonna do is create a device that causes a digital camera to take a photo anytime motion is detected. The circuit we'll be using is designed specifically for the input interface on my camera, but obviously not all cameras are made the same. So double check your manual and know exactly what you're doing before you go ahead and, and plug in external signals to your camera. Joy to the world. My Canon DSLR has a built-in TRS jack that allows you to focus the camera and snap a picture mm, yeah. using an external shutter switch. External shutter switch. Not all cameras have one, so check your manual, and if necessary, go buy a new one. You can always ask your brother-in-law. The two and a half millimeter TRS jack has three separate electrical connections, the tip, the ring, and the sleeve. The tip controls my shutter, the ring controls my focus, and the sleeve is ground. In a typical setup, the focus and shutter functions are activated by shorting the corresponding conductors to ground. We will need to use the Arduino's digital output circuitry in a way that is compatible I can't say combat compatible in a way that is compatible with this interface. First, we need to connect the ground wire of the remote shutter cable to the ground wire of the Arduino so that both devices share a common reference. Use a multimeter to, de to determine... I'm an idiot! You're an idiot. Use a multimeter to determine which wires go to which conductors on the connector. It's fine to connect the shutter terminal to the Arduino's logic low voltage because this is basically the same as shorting the shutter terminal to ground. We don't want to drive the shutter terminal to a logic high voltage because the remote shutter interface is not designed for this. So we will insert a diode in the control line with the cathode connected to the Arduino's output pin. The diode allows a logic low to activate the shutter functionality, but it acts like an open circuit when the pin is logic Oh, so shall Sally sells shutter switches by the seashore. The PIR sensor has only three pins, power, power ground, and output. output. Power is hooked up to five volts on the Arduino. The ground wire is hooked up to the ground pin on the Arduino and the signal line is hooked up to digital pin seven. A logic high on the output pin indicates that, a, that motion has been detected. When the Arduino detects a logic high on the PIR sensor's output signal, it drives the shutter pin to logic low and holds it low long enough for the camera to autofocus and then take a picture. Oh, hey, what's up folks at home? We're gonna snap a picture anytime someone steals our milk and cookies. All right, hey, what's up?